Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brad, and I'm out here on our 20 acres in North Florida that we're turning into a homestead. Today's video, we're going to try and fix an erosion problem. What we have is water that comes from behind the camera where the paved road is and comes down our asphalt millings driveway and washes some of the millings into the grass area there. So we wanna shore up that bank with some railroad ties and then backfill it with some extra millings that I have and hopefully get this where it doesn't wash out anymore. So that's what we're up to today. Let's get to work because it's already 95 degrees at nine in the morning and it's not gonna get any cooler. So I had to mow that real quick to knock the top off the grass so I could see what I was doing. So now what I'm gonna do is use the front end loader and push the asphalt that's in the grass a little bit up and give me a little bit of clean space here to work. Just wanna create some sort of border. I'll put this dirt back against the railroad ties and then I'll fill the rest of it in with the extra millings that I have. I only have about 10 railroad ties that I can put down here, so I don't want to dig more than I have ties for, but you get the idea. Okay, so I think the way I'm going to do this is, is put the first one right against the post there, come out, railroad ties are about nine foot, come out to about here, kind of follow the curve that I've started here, and put them in place, and then look at them and see if they need to be adjusted, because I want it to look good as you're coming down the driveway. I don't want them, you know, to go in and out like a Z pattern. I think I'm going to place these alongside here in the grass, keep the mini excavator up here on top of the Millings driveway, and then just kind of use the teeth of the bucket to loosen up the dirt and then shovel the dirt into, I'll put the bucket back on the tractor. I think that's the best way to do it, to keep everything clean. If I shovel the dirt into the grass, then I, that's gonna be a problem to clean up. I don't want the dirt over here into the asphalt. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put these railroad ties along here in the grass, go put the bucket back on, and then go get the excavator. So I've got good packed soil here and grass growing, so I don't want to disturb too much with the excavator. The easiest thing to do would be to go through here, clean it up really good, make a wide trench, put the railroad tie in here, and then backfill it. But I'm going to do more of it by hand just because I don't want to disturb the millings on one side and I don't want to disturb the grass roots on the other side. So I'm just going to use the excavator teeth to bust through that hard pan and do the rest by hand with the shovel. It's a little hot out here to be doing that, but I think that's the best way so that I don't create an erosion issue that takes, say, a year of growing grass to fix. So the first railroad tie is always the hardest. And if you're not familiar with railroad ties, they're imperfect. One side of them where the train runs on has a lot of irregularities and bumps and bruises and cuts and stuff out of it. So I put that side down so you see the smooth side, which would have been the side that was down originally when it was on a railroad track. But what I'm doing is I'm taking a straight edge, just a metal bar, and I'm not trying to be perfect here, but I want the top of this railroad tie to be even with the crown of the road and that way I'll backfill this with gravel with some extra millings that I have and then the road will be smooth right here or level when you come in the driveway now you kind of dip to the left side the driver's side as you drive in because there's a good four inch drop off here so that's what one thing we're trying to correct and then also the water issue then the second part is we want it to look good so we want the actual railroad tie to be level so once you get it level you just take and backfill dirt on each side and that'll hold it. It's not going anywhere. All these are good solid railroad ties, so they'll last literally forever here.
Doesn't look like I did much with the excavator there, just a couple feet, but anything I can do to keep from shoveling today, you can see by my face, I am just totally soaked in sweat. Anything I can do to save a shovel or two is gonna give me enough energy, hopefully, to finish this whole project. All right, guys, here's where I'm at. I've got the second one in, so railroad ties are nine foot a piece, so I got about 18 foot done here. I think the rest of them will be easier than this one, but you know, there's a lot of shovel work here. There's a lot of packing in work and uh, I can get a little bit done and then I got to take a break. I actually was texting Lucas out at Peaks Peak Hobby Homestead this morning. He was going to do some work. It's cooler up there in Kentucky than it is down here in Florida. So I told him, I said, I said, hey man, if you don't hear from me, make sure you tell my wife, Deb, to get that footage off the camera because it's going to be some good footage. This should be the last dig. I got two more to put in. That's uh, 18 feet left. Okay, all eight of them are in, and I've backfilled on the other side with a little bit of asphalt and packed it in with the end of a shovel. But I wanna put a layer of clay along this side so they don't push out before I put some machinery on that side and put some more asphalt there and pack it down. The driveway was not perfectly straight to begin with, so I came in off this post, brought it in a little, left to right, and then I just kinda followed the contour of the driveway. I think it came out pretty good. That's eight railroad ties. Eight times nine is 72, so that's 72 feet. And I probably should do all the way to the first culvert, which would be right there behind the tractor. That would probably be best, but this is a real good start. I'd like to line the complete length of the driveway with railroad ties. And then on top of this asphalt, at some point when this driveway breaks down, say in 10 years, I'd like to come back and put a layer of gravel on top of that, like limestone. I prefer granite, but it's really hard to get granite in this area. Okay, you gotta eat your vegetables before you have dessert. So finally, I'm gonna get to get on Precious and try and grade this out. I've got all the railroad ties solidified. I've hand packed them. I came down this outside edge with some clay, packed that by hand, actually until my muscles started cramping and I couldn't pack it by hand anymore. And then I jumped on the Kubota tractor and packed it in with the wheels. So I got that done. Now I'm just gonna grade with the excavator. It's a mini excavator, so it's not real long. So sometimes you get a choppy grade with it, but I'm gonna try and push this extra asphalt up this way and try and fill in this hole right here by the base, by the camera. And if I can't do it with that, then I'll use the tractor blade. Oops, I thought the camera was far enough away. Let me move it. I'm trying to push that up to this big hole up here. So just as I thought, the excavator did okay, but it doesn't have a six-way blade. It's just a straight blade. So when you get close to those railroad ties, I don't want to blow them out. So I couldn't get over there and push them to the left or away from the railroad ties. So I ended up filling in there more than I wanted to. I can be a lot more precise with the tractor and if need be, come back with the excavator and pack it in. Tractor weighs about 3,000, 3,500 pounds and the excavator weighs about 63, 6,500 pounds.
All right, guys, I'm gonna call this job complete. It's about five o'clock and I got a one hour drive home and I'm just about out of water. But I got this filled in, it's nice and smooth. I'm gonna track it in a little bit with the excavator and then call it a day. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you see Mrs. Piney Grove, don't tell her that I used the shovel today. I told her I was gonna use the tractor and the excavator only. But otherwise, that's all I've got, guys. Take care.